What's going on, y'all? Back for another one. Your boy Bo Jason, Dram's on deck. And today, we got another heavy hitter on deck. Today, we got some more of the Cavalon action right here. We got these right here. King Car Whiskey, made by Cavalon. Here's the bottom right here as well. Bottle at 46%. King Car. We're gonna try and sample out. See what it do. I got this a couple weeks ago on a uh, getaway trip. Uh, this is uh, probably with my fourth bottle of uh, Cavalon. So I actually uh, saw this one and I was like, you know what? Let me try this. Uh, the bottle looks different from the normal Cavalons. Uh, so I said I figured I'd give it a shot and uh, buy it and, and, and see what the what the what the verdict is. So for me, this would be a uh, you know, uh, this, this is a very well-respected brand. Like I said, this brand was one of the best tasting whiskey. Uh, uh, tw not this particular version of Cavalon, but another one, one best tasting whiskey 2015. So it's definitely a uh, up and coming brand. It, it, it definitely uh, puts out quality products. Um, and there are very young whiskeys compared to some of the Scotch uh, uh, ones made in Scotland contemporaries. It's very, very, uh, you know, these are, most of their Cavalons are less than 10 years versus some of the competitors in, uh, coming from uh, Scotland that are maybe anywhere from, you know, uh, 12 on up years. So, but it's something to do with the region that makes it mature faster. Uh, so this bottle right here ran me about $120 before taxes. So, you know, taxes, you know, at least another 10, $15 for that. Probably another $10. So... So we're looking at somewhere around 130 that I paid for this. I seen it on the uh, Whiskey Exchange or Master Malt for around 75 bucks. So you figure you factor in the um, the price for um, uh, importing in, it's probably gonna run anywhere to maybe a hundred dollars. So you still end up saving at least a good 20 bucks if you get it online, I would say. At least that. So but this right here, I just ran across it. Impulse buy, it looked good. I was like, let me let me go ahead and get this and add it to the collection. So, um, I got I poured my glass like like I said, I let my whiskey sit at least five to ten minutes. Let it open it up, oxidize, and then I go in and just let you know how I feel about it. But uh, but this one right here should be pretty decent. Like I said, it's, it's Cavalon. I haven't had a bad Cavalon product yet. So um, let it open up, and then definitely definitely we're gonna go into the notes and to the taste. Let y'all know what it is, look what it's what it's feeling like, and then you might like it, and you might want to try it one day yourself. So let's give you my opinion of it. Hmm, this color right here. It's like a like a medium brown. I don't know if light can pick it up. We're looking about a medium brown right here. Almost dark brown, like a syrupy color consistency, like a dark amber, so to speak. Just imagine like a dark beer or something like that. That's what it's consistency of it. It's pleasant on the nose, I'll be honest with you. It smells like syrup. Uh, smell like some some peaches or something. Pe I smell very like some fruits, peaches, syrup, little honey. It's very pleasant, I will say. Like if you could imagine like a, I don't know, almost like a light fragrance or something, like a female's fragrance. That's, that's what I'm picking up on the nose. Not bad, not bad at all. No. Color's good. I don't. It doesn't look like it's maybe as oily as some or viscous as some of the other Cavalons, but I like the color. I like the I like the, the smell of it on the nose. Mm. Almost like some dates. Bad. It smells obviously just like regular alcohol too. So you get that smell too. On the on the palate, let me see what it tastes like. This was a bottle about a year ago. 
August of 2017. I think it was around, around six years ago, maybe six years, seven years. On the palate, it's, it's almost how I smell it. Syrup, uh, fruity, well not super, it tastes more like a, like a, like a dry peach. Dry peach and syrup. That's what I'm picking up on it. But on, on a mild tone, not, not heavy, but on a mild tone. Um, smooth. It's not much of a bite to it per se. When I say bite, I'm referring to you ever had like a lower, like a maybe like a cheap vodka? Like when I was in college, it we it take like ten people to get one bottle of liquor together because we were so broke. We would play cards all night and we would all get the like the gallon of, of, of vodka coming with a spigot on it and a twist top. And when you drink it, and you like I suppose you lose a game, you lose a guy to take a shot, and you drink it. It, it tastes like somebody poured fire, like some like rubbing alcohol that you when your mama would rub it on you, you get you get a boo boo when you was a kid. That how that feel, how that smells, that rubbing, that that harsh just bite. That's what I'm referring to on the night. So I say bite, I'm referring to a burn, alcohol burn because it's you know it's not as smooth or mellow. This you don't get that. So a dry pairs a little vanilla, so like a little sweetness to it. But on a mellow tone, there's no bite at all. That I'm picking up on it. It's, like I said, it's four six percent, so uh, it's definitely um, you know it's pretty pretty high on the ABV, but it's it's, it's still sweet and mellow. Um, I got going for another shot or so. Put a little water to it, see how it opens up a little bit. Pleasant, pleasant. Picking up now, this is just a hint of a spice. I'm gonna say spice like cinnamon, nutmeg, a little bit of that dried pear, peach, you know, syrup. That's what I'm picking up on on the palate. Very pleasant, very pleasant. Smooth, like I said, no no burn, no bite to it really. And some people who not uh, used to maybe higher APV, you might get. The tongue might be a little hot because of APV, but it's different between it being hot and it being and it biting. But there's no bite though, at least for me. So, so all in all, this particular one right here, it, it's not. Um, it's, I didn't hear as much hype on this one as I did the other Cavalon, the Vina Barri. Um, so this is more of like in the Cavalon, maybe the more hidden one, the, the uh, hidden jewel per se. So, I'm gonna go in. I put a little water in there. Let me go in on this water. Still the same color, same the same light amber color. For me, let's get a quick rinse just to make sure I'm giving you a more accurate taste. So, all right, here we go. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be feeling nice tonight. Probably gonna go out for a little while. So when I do, I don't really need to buy too many drinks when I go out for drinking all this, do I? I think I'll be good. Got a little bit better with that water. To me, the water opens it up, make it even more sweet. I taste a little bit more, more honey, more syrup with the water. You put it, I think I put it the right amount of water and it tastes more syrupy, slightly more sweeter, still smooth. It, I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. I'll be honest, I'm, I'm definitely enjoying it. Now, it has some complexity to it, but. I'm not, saying, I'm not saying it's the most complex, but it definitely, had, you know, I'm picking up, you know, if I could pick up more, at least three or more different things on it, that's medium complexity for me. If I, anything over over three different things, solid things, that's, in my opinion, it's more high complexity. So, 
So zero three is you know medium low complexity. Anything above three is pretty high for me. So. This works, it works. Now, my one caveat to that, this works, it's enjoyable, and I like it. But there is a but. <laughs> Cause that's, you know, drinks day, I gotta keep it 100, that's what I do here, but I'm, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I like it, it's enjoyable, but the one caveat or, or gripe I'm gonna have to say is the price point, because it is 120. So it'll be anywhere from 100 to 120 on up. And I've seen this actually in San Diego here for like maybe 150. So depending on where you go, this, this is going to be 100 or more. So what you need to realize is that this is great. But there's another Cavalon line, which is the original Cavalon, which I, I also have here. The OG Cavalon. I'm going to show you real quick what it looks like. Now this Cavalon right here is what I call the OG. This is the original one. This one runs for about maybe 80, 90 bucks. So I enjoy that one just as much as this one. Maybe slightly more. So, you know, you figure if you're gonna pay 125 versus getting a Kevlar shit that's just good or maybe even better for 30, 40 bucks less, you probably go that route. And it's more accessible. You don't see this as much as, as you do the other Kevlar. So in my opinion, yes, it's enjoyable. Yes, it is. Uh, has some complexity. It is smooth. It's very. It's a good dram. But my only gripe is the is the availability and the price point. It's not as available as the other Cavalon, and the price point, in my opinion, is too high. This should not be 120. I enjoy it. I think maybe because of the rareness of it, and it being like the, from the actual King Car uh, Distillery, it may make it uh, you know a more a higher price point because it's certain things that I made me are rare. It made me have a higher price point. So yes, this I enjoy this. If I have the ratings out of a ten, just based on if I just take the, the if I just take the the price factor, I would just go off strictly off of taste, not no price included. I would give this yeah, about seven three quarters out of a ten, maybe even an eight. For well, water, I'd probably give it around just I give it a solid eight out of ten. So to me, I think I can get another eight out of ten that's far less than one twenty five. And I'm, I, you know, a lot of people can. This right here tastes very similar to the OG, uh, which Kevlar, which I just showed you. Um, it it has a, a very, very small kinship. I'm not going to say exactly like if you ever had the Yamasaki, which I will review that as well. It has a, a like a kind of similar complexity in some point to that. So for me, the only gripe is the price point. I can get better. Uh, I can get a, a just as good uh, dram for a better price. So would I buy this again for, for the same price? No, I would not. Do I enjoy it? Absolutely. I can get the other Cavalon. line. I can get other things, like I said, a Yamasaki, other things that are comparable as far as enjoyment and taste that are far cheaper than this. At least $25, $30 cheaper. And it's more accessible. Well, at least the, the, the other the original Cavalon line is. So all in all, good dram. I, strict, strictly on taste, eight out of ten. If I factor in the price, I would give it a seven out of ten. On, if I factor in the price, maybe even six point five. Because, like I said, it's to me, it's overpriced. It's still enjoyable though. So again, I hope, hope that information helps you out. If you out, if you see it, you're thinking about it. If I like it, don't like it, get yeah, just you know what it's what it smells like, what it tastes like, and what's comparable to the price point. So hopefully that's helpful to you if you're interested in this particular bottle. It's your boy Bo Jason, out of San Diego, Drams on deck. I'm going to go out a little bit later on, so I think I'm good. I might even try something different when I go out later on the night. It's here in San Diego. The weather's nice, so I'm going to enjoy myself for a little bit. But hit the like, subscribe button. If you Hit me with some comments. We can talk, converse, tell me what you like. And if you if you or some other bots that you think you uh, you might want to see, I can even uh, interview, uh, try that and put that review if you like that as well. So let me know what's going on. Until then, have fun. Hope you enjoyed the video. Your boy Bo Jason, Dram's on deck.